Hey, I'm Game Changer Coach Robert Cabono, and for today's tip of the week, we're going to talk about the benefits of eating an afternoon snack. So you tell me if this scenario sounds familiar. You wake up pretty early, and you're very busy. You barely have a chance to eat breakfast. Maybe something very light, maybe nothing at all. Whether you're taking care of the kids, rushing them off to school or camp, or you're just trying to get uh, you know, ready to go off to work, or maybe you're doing both. So you have a very light breakfast because you're so busy. Then you're doing whatever it is you're doing throughout the morning, and by the time you have a chance to actually sit down and eat, maybe it's 11 a.m., uh, noon, 1 p.m., and you're still very busy, so you're eating your lunch in maybe three to five minutes. It's not something that's very hard enough, not something that's going to really satisfy you and hold you over. Then you continue to be very busy throughout the day, and the next chance that you have to actually sit down and have a substantial meal is dinner time, and that could be 5, 6, 7 o'clock. And because you've barely eaten throughout the day, and because it's been so long since you've eaten last, uh, you overindulge in dinner. You're, you're so ravenous at that time, you'll eat whatever comes your way, whatever you can fit onto the plate. Uh, and even beyond that, uh, late at night, you'll eat whatever snacks you can get your hands on, whether it's ice cream, cookies, chips, etc. Uh, and this is very often the case with most people and seems to be their downfall why they're overeating, uh, why they can't be as lean, as healthy as they want to be. So planning out an afternoon snack can be, snack can be very helpful. Uh, so at about 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., plan something that you can have, make it a priority, schedule it out so that it will hold you over until dinner time and you'll have something much more reasonable and it might even help you uh, stave off those late night cravings. So what would be a good idea of a food choice to have at that time? Anything that's very protein rich would be very good, so anything like a, a Greek yogurt or a protein bar or a protein snack, and those are foods that don't exactly require a lot of prep. Um, and if it's not those options, then just something that's very healthy and easy to eat, like fruits or maybe some cut-up vegetables. Those are not things that require a lot of preparation. They're easy to eat, even if you're at work or doing whatever. If you're busy at your desk, you can eat that while you're working. You can even eat that in the car if you're on the go. They're healthy options. They'll hold you over, um, and they should make a difference in keeping your uh, daily body of nutrition um, more in line with your goals. I'm Game Changer Coach Robert Cabona, and we'll talk to you next time.